had to go live to get this off my chest, man, because you know we all like to play and say things and, you know, keep this entertainment going, this little drama stuff may get clicks. And at the end of the day, it should be all fun and games. I remember when I used to beef with Funny Mike. That was all fun and games. We literally used to DM each other. Same with DDG. I used to beef with DDG. But we used to DM each other all the time. We got each other's numbers. It never gets personal. But when it does get personal, the person that's going to take the high road has to take a step back and say, how is this so personal? How is now, out of all this other drama I've incorporated myself with, how is now it's to a level where I have to bring a Draco and, and dudes wearing Star Wars shirts or no shirts hopping out wanting to beat me to death or shoot me in front of my kids. It should never get to that level. So you know what? I quit. I give up. I already said I was going to do it before in the video, but they didn't take it serious. So I'm saying again, live, as personal as I can get without editing anything out, I quit. I don't want to do this. I don't want to throw shots at them and fake beef with them and try to help them. Really what I've been doing this whole time, I've been allowing Charlene and I've been allowing her new boyfriend and her kids. I've been allowing all of them to benefit off of the things that I've created. All right, I've been letting them do this. And I want to continue letting them do this. But the fact that they want to kill me, jump on me, stump my head in, break in my house because they somehow got my address, rob me, take everything that I earned, try to kill my daughter. They want to kill the twins. They want to do all of this in front of the twins' mom. She's allowing this because for some reason she can't put her parent hat on and say, hey, this is the father of my kids. Let's not do all this. Let's just move on like he's moved on. I moved on. They right there. I moved on. I mean, the only reason I'm still associated with this woman is because we have kids, which means that I have to be associated with her for life. A lot of people say things like, when they turn 18, it's over. You ain't got to do none of that. That's a lot. That is a lot. I'm not leaving my kid when she's 18. I'm not going to say, don't call me no more. So basically, we got to go to graduations together. I'm not missing nothing on my kids for her, her boyfriend, or whoever she... Because what I'm going to try to tell you guys without sounding bogus is I don't know what their situation is. If they're in a relationship, friends, if he's her manager, if he's her bodyguard. I don't know what he is to her. But what I do know is there's going to be 10, 20, 30, probably 50 more of him in her life by the time they graduate, the twins. And I don't want to be going through this 50 different times with 50 different guys and everybody she talked to want to kill me because I'm so rich and I'm living this good life and she has nothing. It seems like he's mad at me because she has nothing for him to take. I don't know if that's the real reason, but that's just my opinion from looking at things because honestly, think of it like this. He has my ex, right? But he wants to kill me because he got my ex. What is he mad about? He got my ex. He should be excited. Like, she's older than him. She's more accomplished than him. She has more clout than him. She has more than him. So I don't understand why she's submitting to him and allowing him to run the show. He doesn't know about this lifestyle. He's a... I don't know what he is. I don't know him. I, don't, I shouldn't even be talking about him because he's nothing to me. I should not be talking about this guy. If he was a football player that had a contract and played and was famous, that would be different because he would even be moving differently. But clearly he has nothing to lose. And I don't want to consult with anyone that has nothing to lose because they are dangerous. They are dangerous. When you dealing with someone who literally wants to throw their life away, they want to die, they want to go to prison, you can't beat them. Because guess what? I have things to lose and I have a family to protect. I have kids to look after for. I don't want, especially if something would happen to me, if he's now the twin's dad, think about that. I can't do that. I can't leave earth knowing that somebody like that is in control of my kid's destiny. I really have a legacy to leave behind. So this live was as personal as I can get. Yes, I'm out the country on the beach, and this is why I did this. I've been thinking, like, wait a minute. Because people just called me. Somebody just called me and said, does he really have your address? Because he just said he has your address and some other stuff. And I was like laughing, like, what? Even if he does or doesn't have my address, the fact that Charlene, a.k.a. Royalty, is willing to allow him to even post and say, I got your address, where the twins live half the week, where Kamari lives half the week. She's like, yeah, this is his address. Go kill him. I'm taking all this to court. So I'm telling you guys now, she is definitely losing her kids. And I don't know what's going to happen to him and her. I, hopefully they get married down the line. I don't know. I don't care. Because I've already moved on. 
But what I will not do is go back and forth and back and forth. And when I'm at a place because I was appointed by the judge to be there to drop off my kids or pick up my kids, I shouldn't have to deal with this. I shouldn't see a freaking Star Wars t-shirt a block away. I shouldn't see a crackhead brother a block away. It should just be what it should be. It should be her mother, who is literally the only one with her head on straight. And I can't seem to grasp the fact why she's allowing him to do this. But Tanya is the only one who has her head semi on straight. Let's say that. She's the only one that I feel comfortable enough with transferring my kids to and from. Everyone else is literally a loose cannon, hothead, ready to just react off anything. And they're only doing this for clicks. I don't need to do this for clicks. I've already shown how I can transition from the drama and leave all of them in the past and continue moving forward with my shit. I have businesses I own percentages of. I have my YouTube channel, which is totally booming right now. And by the way, I'm less than 50K away from 9 million, which means I'm less than a million and 50K away from 10 million, which means I'm finna hit 10 million and get my diamond play button without all of that drama in my life. I don't need it. I really don't need it, and I don't want it. So that being said, I will no longer put my kids in danger by going back and forth and trying to do the shots and retaliating, making posts and all that. No, it's done because Kamari lives with me. And now I think about that every time that I want to react to them. When he says some dumb stuff about, yeah, you a bitch-ass nigga, homie. Yeah, that's why I taught your son how to box, homie. Yeah, because you can't teach him how to box, homie. I, I really wanted to retaliate, but... It's just not worth it at the end of the day. This dude can barely speak English, and that is like the dominant language in our country, and he barely speaks that language. So it's very hard for me to even talk to him. And everybody's like, meet him, just meet him. He's going to be in your kid's life regardless. Just meet him. He doesn't have to be in my kid's life, and I don't have to meet him. He's really like, I keep saying this, but he's not on my level for me to meet him or talk to him. My kids don't know him or know or even care about him. They don't want to. This is something she's trying to use as a tool to get this man on a level that he ain't never going to be on because it's not meant for him. If someone has a contract to play professional sport and they get cut the next day, then maybe it wasn't meant for them. That's God trying to show you something, bro. You didn't learn, and now you will never be anything. You're not going to be a successful YouTuber. You're definitely not no rock star. You're not no rapper because your shit is ass. Royalty shit is ass. Together, y'all collectively make the trashest videos and music I have ever seen or heard in my life. It makes my ears bleed. I really want to cringe to death when they talk and when they make music. That's why I want them to get married. I really want them to get married so I can utilize them as an example for the twins and Kamari to show them this is what happens when your brain is on drugs. This is what happens when you let drama ruin your life. This is what happens when you're just straight up dumb and you don't care about life. This is what you look like. This is how you end up. I want them to continue being them. That is naturally who they are. But the thing is, I'm being who I naturally am too. The fact that I say stuff back isn't because I'm trying to get clicks. It's really because I've already been through the fire. He Don't, don't get me wrong. He ain't never been shot. Nobody ain't ran in his house. He ain't had to fight for his life. So all that online talk, it sounds very good because it's online. And you're holding your phone. So you're basically yelling at yourself. Oh, man, he a bitch-ass nigga, homie. I'll huh, beat his ass, I'll kill him. You know, you know, I won't do that. I just can't. Because if it comes down to it and you in my face, I guarantee you one of us ain't walking away. And it's going to be, I'm the one walking away. You're the one that's going to be laying down. And why did you do this to me? Royalty, why didn't you tell me that he was actually crazy? Because everybody that talk that talk don't walk that walk. There's a lot of people that don't talk at all and they ready. So I'm just letting you guys know. That's why I have to date it. Because when I get to a point where I'm like, all right, bet, I'm bringing a shotgun, I'm bringing a Draco, what's up? But my kids are right there. Now who's smart? Now who's looking dumb? Now we all look the same. So it's kind of like when you're arguing with a dummy. The more you argue back at them, the dumber you look. Arguing with a wall is the dumbest thing ever, right? Because the wall is just dumb. It ain't going to even respond right. So I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to argue with them. And guess what? After me throwing in the towel, if they keep on and trying to intimidate me and antagonize me, they're going to look stupid because they're going to be arguing with themselves. I'm never going to tag them. I'm never posting a picture of them again. I'm just lying. I'm never doing anything <laughs> in my videos about them. Whatever happens from this point on, if y'all hear anything about them, it's going to be from them. They are out of my vocabulary. They're gone. They're literally gone. So. That being said, man, ain't going to be no pulling up to my house. Because when you do, if you do, if you even think that's a good idea, we publicly have a paper trail while I am acknowledging the fact that you posted, Rico, Mr. Royalty, that you posted, I got your address. Let's see what's up now. You want to see what's up? Bet. Come to my private property and you will see what's up if you're going up. Because really, you might see what's down. I really don't know. But that's on you. 
So, that being said, I quit. They won. Hey, royalty, she be the queen of things. Rico, I guess he the king. I don't give a fuck. Do what you need to do. Y'all do whatever. But next time anyone tries to antagonize me at a pickup or drop off, I'm going to be the scaredest person in the world, and I'm going to use my CCW in my defense. Because you already said you're going to kill me. You already said you got my address. Your girlfriend already set me up, and she tried to get me jumped when I pulled up to drop off my kids. I'm scared. Lexi's scared for me. She's afraid for my life. So now, since we're so afraid that they're going to try to, you know, why I'm afraid for my life, this dude is like 20 years old, he has no life, no money, and which means he doesn't care. I keep saying that. When you have nothing to lose, you literally do anything. And the fact that he's a young guy, very short with little man syndrome, with the nappy little situation up here, is very scary. Because he looked like he would do that. He looks like when he talks, he's seriously trying to kill someone. Which is why the league said, give me that money back, bro. Sorry, we don't do that. I'm like the league. When it comes to me and my business, I'm like the NBA. I'm like the NFL. I'm not running my business like that. We're not doing that hooligan shit. So long story short, hopefully you guys get the message. I'm doing just fine. I'm out here on the beach. I'm in another country. I'm untouchable. I'm unreachable. Hey, I, I had to block my baby mother because I don't want to deal with that. So now when I get my kids, I don't need to even talk to her. I know where to be. I'll be at the police department. Well, I'm supposed to be. When it's time to drop my kids off, I know what it be. There's no need to talk to me. When I have the kids, I don't need no help from her. When she have the kids, I don't want to talk to her. My kids will be just fine. Hopefully, she's actually being a parent because what we all have observed, two weeks straight. It's been longer than that. Every time we drop the kids off or she pick the kids up, it has to be something. She getting out the car with a phone in the chest, yelling, trying to make something happen, something popping up. And guess what we didn't realize? Every time she was doing that, them goons was really down the street just waiting. And my back is turned not known so every single time we try to do something like the judge wants us to do she's there ready to do something negative to throw the whole thing off so that's let's just say three strikes in a row they got their third strike you're pulling up with your mans you're not even there for the drop off you across the street but you're saying something about i'm scared i'm where i'm supposed to be you're not even supposed to be there you don't got nothing to do with this you have no kids over here you got 10 kids but they over there how about you do your kids over there a favor and be in their life because all this Rico so cool, that's dead. That's weird. I mean, really, you are my son, but you're that son that I just gave to adoption type of son. Like, I don't want nothing to do with you. You are my son. Royalty is my kid. She's my biggest kid. I did everything for her. So the fact that I cut her off and now she has nothing, that's why she's mad. She doesn't know what to do. The only thing she thinks is that if I do something for drama, he's going to react and I'm going to get paid. It's not going to last when I move forward like I'm already doing. So I'm just letting you guys know. I've, I've always done this. I've always done this. Every time I'm about to make a huge change on my YouTube, what do I do? I go live and I say, I promise y'all, after I post this video, nothing's going to be the same. I always tell y'all that, right? So I'm telling y'all now. I quit. Day one. He the king of things. She the queen of things. But the only thing they the king and queen of is drama. They can have that. That is not in my videos no more. So I'm sorry. All of my videos are going to be uplifting, positive, vacations. My kids are all excited and happy. My nieces and nephews, my cousins, we buying businesses. I'm teaching you guys things because I'm an educator. I'm not here to be fighting, shootouts. I'm not living my life in prison. And I don't care who thinks he's scared. He doesn't want to fight or shoot it out with Rico because he's afraid. Think about how that sounds. I have my kids there. Every time that he's going to be there or she's going to be there, my kids are there. And I'm afraid to get in a shootout in front of my kids. Think about how that sound, bro. Or I'm afraid that someone has my address that hates my guts because I'm rich and they got my ex. Now my daughter's life is in danger. Yeah, I have security systems, but I don't want to put her in that position. So I got to be like, hey, come on. This is how you use a gun just in case somebody break in. Like, mm-mm. That's royalty lifestyle. She want that, she can have that. She can have all them goons up in her kids' rooms with Lynn and doing all the music videos in L.A. in the hood. They can do that. That's perfectly fine. So if some of you guys want that content, you know where to get it from. Go straight to her and get that garbage. But over here, we're done. I wasn't supposed to stay live this long, but I just want everyone watching to know I'm done. I will no longer talk to or about her or him. No more. The blogs, I don't care what you say. You, I've seen it before. They was like, CJ, so cool, scared to meet her boyfriend. <sighs> scared or not, I don't have to meet her boyfriend. I don't have to meet her. She's nothing. Even the judge said, you don't have to ever see your baby mother again. It can be a mediator in between that picks up and drops off the kids. You don't have to talk to this woman ever. And that's what it is. I don't have to talk to her. She's nothing. So if she's not really a parent, then we need the judge to see that the kids need to be 
They need to be lifted from that situation. She's trying to get me killed. She's trying to get them harmed. That is child endangerment. So we're going to have to just keep on doing whatever it takes to make sure my kids are safe. Because I will tell you one thing, and that's a guaranteed fact. I will never put my kids in harm's way. I will not go somewhere purposely ready to do some crazy stuff with my kids right there. I'm not going to pull up with some big old basketball shorts on, looking dumb as hell. My girl's not going to have no stupid Star Wars shirt on. We're not going to be at the meet and greet like, what's up? What's up, homie? That's how he look. What's up? I'm Rico. You don't know me? No, I don't know you. Well, I know your ex. Well, I don't give up. I really don't. Look at me. You have my dirty ass ex. Do I care? No. No. You saved me. You really saved me. I'm grateful for you. That's why I keep saying I want y'all to get married because I really want her to leave me alone. See, in her mind, she's thinking we was together for nine years. He took care of my kids. I held him down when he had nothing. He will eventually come back to me because no, that's where you're wrong. I will never in my life make that mistake again. I already did it. When she left me and I was in Miami just trying to make money and business moves, which is why I keep telling y'all, this is what's really up. It ain't about cheating. Every time when I was trying to make something happen, I was with my boy, damn man, Kevo. She got mad. Why you moving like you single? You trying to go all over the world and make deals? Why you ain't bringing us? Because I can't roll up with five kids to every business meeting, bro. It's expensive to put all of us on a plane just for me to go handle a business meeting I could do it by myself. So she was trying to hold me back from my blessings, and now God is rewarding me from removing her from my life. That's what happens. When you make the right move on the chessboard, you get an advantage, right? So God is the same way. If you live life the right way, he will give you an advantage. He will bless you. I'm not living like them. I'm not getting evicted, and my cars are getting repossessed, and my jewelry is getting sold. And No, I'm not out there prostituting my body, not out there taking pictures naked and posting them for $13. I'm not doing none of that. It's because I have strategically placed myself in a better position. Now, realistically speaking, she should have never left me that broke, that helpless. Her credit should have been great. Her bank account should have been stacked. Her everything should have been wonderful. But instead, she was too busy following and not learning. I was teaching the whole time. I was showing them the freaking ropes the whole time. I'm so, I'm so transparent. I tried to teach them everything. It's not my fault they didn't learn. All they took from it was, well, he used to be for Nike and the views used to go up. So uh, let's start the beef train. What the f- that's all you learn? Anyway, man, I'm dehydrated <laughs> from talking to y'all ass so long. Uh, look, those are my guys over there. That's my boy G. That's his wife, Brittany. They the only ones out here with me. It's me, Lexi, Kamari, and of course I flew out to make up artists for Lexi. But other than that, my circle is like this because you can't trust people. I didn't put so many people on. Y'all know who I'm talking about. A lot of people I didn't put in position to be better. And some of them still doing good. But ain't none of them reached out to me. Ain't none of them tried to help me. Ain't none of them fly out to see your boy when I was shot. Nothing. So guess what? My circle got smaller. My money got bigger. That's something that everybody should realize is the truth. When you cut people off and things start going good, then you know you did the right thing. If you cut somebody off and things start going bad, let's use Charlene. If Charlene cut me off and now she's in the dumpster, who's, who's really making a mistake? I'm not in a dumpster with her, so she's the one making a mistake. And I know some of y'all are probably like, well, 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 let's see how you living in five years from now. I guarantee you, since I've been on YouTube for eight years straight, my 13th year, if I'm even still doing YouTube because I'm going to be too, too rich to even be worried with this, y'all will see and be able to say, if you're still watching, I remember five years ago when he said this. So that being said, man, I love everybody in here. If you're positive, you know you're going to be a millionaire one day because I remember being broke. I remember being not homeless, but technically I was homeless. So I remember being a person that couldn't see this day, but it happened. So just be humble, be positive. And even if people hate you, even if they think what you're doing is wrong or you're a flexor or you, uh, whatever, it don't matter. Guess what? You still have your life to live and your life is already written out. So you better try your hardest to be the best you can be. All that extra stuff about who can kill who first, leave that somewhere else. Because really people that's getting money don't think like that. I'm not walking around every day pacing in circles going, man, I'm going to get this dude. God, he got me messed up. I'm thinking about how I'm going to make the next $10 million. I'm realistically telling you guys the truth. Like, it's so much going on in my life. Like, when I get back home, y'all going to see I was doing something at my house that I didn't want nobody to know. So when I post a video, remember, I told y'all here live, I'm making so much money that I'm able to do things while I'm out the country that could change my life when I get back home. Plus, I have so much other things in store that you don't even know about. Man, like this shit is crazy. It's mind blowing how big I am, and that's why they want to. That's why they want to blow up my candle. They like, oh, this nigga lit. He hot. Hey, hey, Charlene, your baby daddy crazy. He just dissed us, man. That shit was hard. I don't know if I can do this no more. I gotta pop him, man. I gotta put my goons on, man. I'm gonna use the last of my first NFL check, homie. I'm gonna pay everybody off, homie. We gonna get this nigga taken care. What the fuck?
Puku for Cocoa Puffs. Because if I'm out of the equation, all of my kids are helpless. So that's what she wants. She wants the twins to be fatherless. As if her new boyfriend is going to do a good job at raising them. No, the same boys in the hood. We don't need none of that. Anyway, I'm going to read a comment. I'm going to leave. We understand. Oh, wait, her name is... You know what? I'm going to pin it so I can read it better because it's moving too fast. This is the only comment I'm going to read and then I'm going to leave. Sorry I wasn't reading comments on videos. not my fault. We understand, Flawed Peach 6 says, but why you go get a white girl? All right. I'm going to only address this once. I never really addressed this. I never saw this question, but I've always thought it in the back of my head. So I'm properly prepared to answer this. And yes, I am on vacation. Very much on the beach right now. I just have to do this because when I get home, the word on the street is when I get home, this little guy named Rico is waiting on me at my front door because he got my address from Charlene. So that's why I'm making this live. So there could be a paper trail of me saying, hey, I'm afraid for my life. This dude who has nothing to lose says he wants to kill me. He says he has friends on the payroll. He has this emoji with the fish. He says he's going to reel him out and in whenever he wants to. We got Charlene standing there like she want to fight all the time. She actually did fight my baby mama. This is a paper trail. I'm teaching you guys something right now. This is how you move like a businessman. Okay? Because, of course, I'm from the streets, too. I can move like a street nigga, but I know better because I'm a businessman. And I want to be a Fortune 500 company one day. I don't want to be just a has-been that could have been. I got all the potential in the world, and so do y'all watching. But what I'm teaching y'all is move like a businessman, and all these things will eliminate themselves. As soon as I show the high road and I take the high road, the moment they keep trying to attack me, they're going to look retarded. They're going to look ridiculously dumb. And that is exactly what I know is going to happen because I'm already moving forward. So the reason why I got with Lexi, I'm not going to use color. The reason I got with Lexi is because I actually felt a genuine connection the first time we met at the restaurant. I didn't do anything sexually with her, which is random for me. It's rare. Usually when I meet a girl, you know, I'm trying my hardest to just knock it down, get it out the way, and say, I'm done with you. I block her. I did this to Lexi. I blocked her. She reached out on another number. She told me, we can even be friends. We don't even got to be in a relationship. I just want to help you. I know some powerful people that can probably put you in a better position. She texts me this. I'm like, this girl different. You know what I'm saying? A lot of girls would have been like, you ain't like the sex. I thought you said I look good. You said you loved me last night. She didn't use none of that. And I was like, okay, okay. And then y'all know what happened with the little Ruby situation. That wasn't, I don't say it was fake, but it wasn't real. It was just something I needed to experience. And as soon as I got through going through that, I hit Lexi up. I said, you know what? I've had it. I tried. I'm sorry, but you don't want. So it ain't had nothing to do with color. But yeah, she's white. And I understand that a lot of people don't think that that's cool. But guess what? I tried. I was with my my culture. I had two black baby mamas. All right? I got Tata. I thought she was the one. Then she set me up. Stole my credit cards. Come on, man. How many times I got to go through this cycle until I say, let me try something different? So please don't hate me for liking on Lexi and she's indeed white. Please, please don't hate me for that. Because that's honestly... Like, that's beneath me. That's beneath the United States of America. We over that. We ain't racist. We ain't prejudiced. So it don't matter what color she is. The only thing that matters is she's not tearing me down. She's uplifting me, and she's as positive as they come. So I also have to protect her, my future wife. Anyway, I got to go. Shout out to everybody here. Shout out to D-Lo. He's at my crib right now. Shout out to Roa. Shout out to Andy. Shout out to Joe. Shout out to Lexi. Shout out to G. Shout out to Brittany. Shout out to myself. Shout out to my... My true day ones out there watching me still. They doing a ritual over there. Hold on. It's a ritual. Damn. I'm in my live, man. I don't know if I'm supposed to be talking. Illuminati ritual. I'm dead. I'm not even gonna stand right here. I'm gonna go. Anyway, y'all, y'all already here first. I give up. I quit. I'm not entertaining them. I'm not beefing with them. So, since I said that, if they keep threatening me, and it's clear that I'm not participating anymore, because like I said, I thought it was a joke at first. I thought it was a little game, a little YouTube rivalry to help us both out when I don't really even need the shit. So now I'm just done quitting. They keep doing this. We all going to have to just team up and just get rid of the legal way, the business way. 
They here? I'm about to get on the jet ski, man. Love y'all.